The following contest is a fans bring the weapons match. The accolades for Low Life Louie speak for themselves. But what absolutely disgusts me is everything about Kid Osborne. Kid Osborne, what, less than a year ago, he stood here in the ring, stood toe to toe with Slack, a bloody man, and earned the respect of every single person in this building for standing toe to toe with one of Deathmatch's top competitors today. But here we are, less than a year later, and this is the same man who attacked Low Life Louis' son, a kid, a kid. He attacked a kid. That is how low this man is too. And I can never forgive him for that. And it was at that point when he attacked Little Louie that I thought we'd never see Kid Osborne in the HBO ring ever again. I thought that the chairman Matt Greenlight had had enough of Kid Osborne. But Louie begged for this. He wanted this match. He's fighting for family honor, for the honor of his legacy right now. And that debt will be paid in Kid Osborne's blood if Louie has his way with it. You're absolutely right. I mean, Kid Osborne, you know, he's always had a mouth that, that's run a mile a minute. But I'm not sure his mouth just wrote a check that he can't pass right now. Absolutely. We saw these men at the King of the No Ring Deathmatch Tournament, and that's a tournament that Louis won. Maybe this is bad blood from that point. But this match has finally gotten underway, and I am so excited about it. Listen, Osborne has always had a little bit of a complex, always wanting more than he's, than he's had. And I'll give it to him. Over the last year or two, he's actually stepped his game up and proved he deserves to be fighting against the best. Without a doubt, Kit Osborne has got the skills to hang with anybody here in H2O. But it's just like you said over and over, the mouth just doesn't stop running. And eventually that mouth gets him in trouble. And right now, he's got Low Life Louie backed up against the ring, but Louie not afraid to use his head as a weapon. Call him a deathmatch legend for nothing. Louis has earned every single bit of his accolades. And the crowd showing him love right now. And this fans bring the weapons match. A unique form of crowdfunding that only happens at H2O. You know, I, I saw Louis 
arrived to the H2O Wrestling Center earlier today with his wife and son in tow. And Louis, you can tell how focused he is. He said he's down 11 pounds. He's changed his diet. And you can see he's moving a lot better than he ever had. Oh, he looks like he's in the best shape of his life right now. This fight, we knew it wasn't going to be able to last in the ring too long. Two warriors battling it out on the outsides in the throng of the H2O fan. Oh! Kid Osborne. Stunning low life, Louie. At least for the moment. Osborne surprisingly in control of this matchup right now, sending Louie into the ring post. Well, we said Louie's been training for this match, and we know Kid has been training as well. He trains vigorously every single day. And he will be the first to remind you. He slaps that. I think that's a gusset board panel right into the back of Louie. I may be mistaken. Who knows? Whatever it is, it's stuck squarely in the small of low like Louie's back. Well, Louie now back in this matchup. Yep, that's definitely, that's definitely a gusset plate. And it's going directly into the left shoulder of Kid Osborne. And you can see the look of shock and pain in, over the face of Kid Osborne. Not many different reactions you can have when a dust boy is getting slapped Absolutely right in your back. Absolutely not. Osborne now on the move. Picking up the pace. And low life Bluey. Quickly stopping. Kid Osborne in his tracks with a light tube straight to the face. Swinging for the fences and hitting a grand slam off Kid Osborne's dome. Louis got a fork, Abby style. I think he's trying to eat. Oh! Low life fluid definitely has a taste for blood, and he's definitely getting some right now as he's driving that dinner fork into the skull of Kid Osborne. You can literally see his forehead tearing at the seams right now. Blood pouring into the eyes of Kid. I've witnessed a lot of death matches, but it still never gets easier to watch. And you can only imagine, Louie, look at his chops. Every one of those stabs. Oh. The flesh of Kid Osborne going into the crowd. Every one of those stabs is meditating. Over all the past few months of abuse, Kid has done to Louie and his family. Kid made it personal. Ooh, that's, that's drywall with gusset plates on it. Littered with gussets. And now you can see the blood pouring down the body of Kid Osborne now after that assault from Louis Ramos. Louis, a true sadist, was testing the sharpness of those gussets. Doesn't want to sh spare Kid Osborne any mercy whatsoever. Absolutely not, and you can't blame him. This is the same Kid Osborne who attacked his son. Hit with the resolve to go after the legs of Louie. Taking out the bigger competitor. Louis down to one knee, hobbling around the, the ring. Kid Osborne, head full of steam. Oh, tackling him right into that drywall, laced in gusset plate. As Louis screams in agony, a, a misstep by Louis walking right through those gusset blades. Kit had the strike when the iron was hot, and boy, did he. Both these men already covered in blood. Barely five minutes into this match. Osborne pulling low life Louis to the ring post. What exactly? The assault on Louis' leg is continuing right now. You can hear low life Louis. I've never really heard a man scream like this before. Oh! 
Is that a figure four, I believe? Yes, it is. Kid Osborne, a student of early 90s wrestling. We've seen Brett the Hitman Hart do this in the past. And now we see Kid Osborne using this same exact maneuver to torture Low Life Louie. Yeah, I believe Kid Osborne has a mixtape of all his favorite devious wrestling holds from the past, present, and he makes up some for the future. If you're Kid Osborne, this is the strategy you want. A man can't inflict too much damage on you if he can't walk, as the ore wrapped in barbed wire is now in play. Oh! And look at the look of smug cockiness on the fate of Kid Osborne. He's enjoying every second of this. He, he must have hate, hate to say it. You have to give him some credit right now. He walked into the lion's den and is taking out the lion right now. Our kid's a bad dude with a bad attitude as he drives that oar deep into the forehead of Louie. No amount of calluses will protect you from barbed wire. I don't care how long you've been around. Ramos being back into the corner. Osborne using that shoulder block to the midsection. Louis starting to show a little fight in him. Fighting back. Maybe just based on muscle instinct from Louis at this point as he seems out on his feet a bit. Oh, good God, look at that weapon. So Thor's hammer of destruction, one side with gusset, one side with carpet strips, one side with forks. And the first side had tacks, and they're all being driven into the body of Kid Osborne. Splinter plastic is impaled into Kid Osborne's back right now. Seems like a weapon made in low-life Louis' darkest dreams. Oh! Osborne kicked to the nether, nether regions. Fortunately, all is fair in love and death matches. Oh! Pitt doesn't seem like he's had enough yet. He's definitely not done. Destroying that bat across the back of Louis Ramos. Louis in pure agony right now. Hit wrenching at that wrist. You can see the plastic forks littered all through the back of Pitt. God. Guts in place right to the stomach. One of them still hanging off the stomach of Louis. Oh, and now the rest across the shoulder blade. Louis convulsing in agony right now. A well-placed kick right to the jaw. Louis Ramos has been put down on the mat. And now Kid Osborne barking orders at our security demanding chairs in the ring. And he wants a metal chair. Kid's orders. He realized he wasn't going to get it fast enough. He realized he's got to keep the attack going on Ramos. Ramos, a, as we've said time and time again, a deathmatch legend. So Kid Osler knows that Louis Ramos can take a beating and keep on coming. And as brash as Kid is, he is calculated. He knew better. Oh, God, those are razor blades sticking out of that board. Louis is slowly stacking to his feet. I don't know if Pitt knows it. It seems like they just be muscle spasms at this point for Louis. Ramos starting to get a second wind here. Duck in that fist. Oh! Side rushing leg through sweep through the razor blades. Both men going through the razor blade. Low Life Louie is an absolute mad band, risking life and limb just to inflict pain on Kid Osborne. He knew what was going to go down. He knew it was all or nothing. But he was willing to take all that pain just so Kit felt a little bit of it too. And suddenly, we're in an impasse. And you can hear this crowd firmly behind. 
Low life Louie. Louie now in control. All that pent up rage and aggression towards Kid Osborne is being released right now. Kid Osborne for months has been a thorn in the side of Louie Ramos. Attacking him. Attacking his family. Both verbally and physically. And right now Louie Ramos is armed with a steak knife and he is driving it across the forehead. Cutting a fillet out of Kid Osborne. I'm sorry, is that a board full of hands? Oh my, oh my god. god! Now he's just stabbing the man! Anywhere else in the world, that's illegal. Here in H2O, that's just casualty of war. Anywhere else in the world, you're getting locked up. Here in H2O, you're being praised. But right now, Kid Osborne trying to fight back. Super kick! Sending Ramos through this aluminum can. Both men now moving slowly and gingerly. Kid Osborne now. Eyes locked on Ramos. And another super kick putting down Ramos. Ramos with a mouthful of blood as kick goes to the cover. Two and Ramos kicking out and he's getting a second win. He's hulking up here. He's hulking up here inside the H2O Wrestling Center. Ramos is fighting for family. He's fighting for honor right now. He just took that light tube shot and he is still moving. And you can see the urgency in which Kid Osborne is moving with now. It's like every light tube is just a shot of energy to Ramos. Oh, God, explosion across the forehead, and Ramos is back to a vertical base. Kid and Os look at the fear in the eyes of Kid Osborne. Like you see the ghost. He said he's looking at a death match demon right in the face. Ramos sent Osborne down to the mat with a big boot. Harm with a four loco. The drink of choice of Low Life Louie. Put him away, Louie. Put him away. And we got a skateboard with carpet strips on him. Right on the lower section of kick. Dropping the leg. Staying off the cover, two and only a two count. Osborne staying in this matchup. I'm personally shocked right now. I, I could have bet money on it if that kick was out for that one. Osborne showing a terrific amount of resolve in this match. Much as you hate him. Louis got the computer screen there. Kid Osborne, he's had dreams of being on TV, and I think Low Life Louie is about to oblige. Oh, Osborne stopping his feet. Low Life Louie sidestepping it, ducking the clothesline, kick to the chin. Low Life Louie face first into the HD monitor. And a cloud of blood. And what his kick out here? That crossface? It looks like a crossface. Our referee checking Louis stake. Can Louis continue? It can't end like this. Will it? Absolutely not. This is not the way. And I think Lowe Louis knows it. He is not going to quit to this man, Kid Oswald. He's not going to quit to the man who attacked his family. Kid Oswald staying on the attack. Another submission hold applies. The neck, the shoulder, the elbow. No, no, no. The referee's calling the match. Come on, get him off. What a shame. What a shame. Kid Osborne. Victorious here tonight against Low Life Louie.
A shame indeed for all that Louie's been through over these past few months. He really wanted the fairy tale ending. But in real life, there's villains. Those villains look like Kid Osborne. This crowd in stunned silence as Kid Osborne able to put down low life Louie here at subterranean violence. Louie came into this match looking for Osborne's blood. Boy, did he get it. This crowd showing their appreciation for the death match legend, rightfully so. Low Life Louie shining in blood right now. Despite everything, that's the kind of man Low Life Louie is. Showing respect to Kid Osborne. Despite everything. Low Life Louie is an absolute class act, a man of the people here. No wonder why every single person in this crowd, in this building, has a level of respect for Low Life Louis Ramos. Well, let's send it back to the ring for our next match. Okay, we're gonna get you to the back, unstab. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we are going to take a 20 minute intermission. Please make sure to stop by the food, the merch, and check out all the wrestlers that come out.